Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given interesting equation x minus 10 divided by x minus 2 plus x minus 9 divided by x minus 3 plus x minus 8 divided by x minus 4 plus x minus 7 divided by x minus 5 equals to negative 4. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. If we focus on the numerator of this equation on the left hand side, we can see there's a difference is one between these consecutive terms. So therefore we are going to add one to each and every term on the left hand side. So this could be written as first I'm going to write down x minus 10 divided by x minus 2 and then I'm going to add 1 to this term likewise plus I am going to do x minus 9 divided by x minus 3 plus 1 on this one x minus 7 divided by x minus 5 and then plus 1 and since we added 1 1 1 we added 4 so I am going to subtract 4 at the same time equal to negative 4 and now let's go ahead and add 4 on both sides and we can see that this uh, negative and positive 4 are gone and this negative and positive 4 are gone as well. So the left hand side is going to become equal to 0. And now let's focus on this part in first bracket over here. And here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and simplify this thing. 1 could be written as 1 over 1. Let's go ahead and crisscross. If we do that thing, we're going to get x minus 10 and then plus 1 times x minus 2 is going to give us x minus 2 divided by we are going to multiply these denominators. 1 times x minus 2 is x minus 2. On the numerator, let's combine the like terms. So that's going to become 2x minus 12 divided by x minus 2. So we are going to replace this one by this 2x minus 12 divided by x minus 2. And now let's focus on this second bracket, this part. And here I have copied it down. And it has been simplified to 2x minus 12 divided by x minus 3. So let's go ahead and write down plus 2x minus 12 divided by x minus 3 plus. And now let's focus on the next bracket. This part I have copied it down and this has been simplified to this 2x minus 12 divided by x minus 4. So let me just go ahead and write down 2x minus 12 divided by x minus 4. And finally let's focus on this part. And here I have copied it down and it has been simplified to 2x minus 12 divided by x minus 5. So let's go ahead and write down plus 2x minus 12 divided by x minus 5 and the right hand side is equal to 0. And now we can see that 2x minus 12 is in common in all these terms on the numerator. So we can factor that one out. So therefore we can write 2x minus 12 as a common factor and inside bracket I can write x 1 over x minus 2 plus 1 over x minus 5 equal to 
zero. So let's go ahead and rearrange these terms. I'm going to combine these one together and these one together. And here in this next term, I have rearranged these one. I, we have put these one together and these two middle one together as well. And now let's go ahead and add these two terms inside this bracket. And here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and add these two fractions. And here we have crisscrossed them and simplified and multiplied them. And our simplified answer turns out to be this one. So let's go ahead and replace these first two terms by the simplified form. So I can write 2x minus 7 divided by x square minus 7x plus 10. Now let's focus on these next two terms. And here I have copied it down. And here we have uh, added these two fractions by crisscross method. And our simplified answer turns out to be a 2x minus 7 divided by x squared minus 7x plus 12. So let's go ahead and replace this one by this our simplified form. So I can write plus 2x minus 7 divided by x squared minus 7x plus 12. And we're going to close the bracket equal to 0. And now we can see this 2x minus 7, they are in common. So we can factor them out. So 2x minus 12 is already outside. So we're going to bring this 2x minus 7 outside as well. And inside the bracket, we're going to have 1 over x squared minus 7x plus 10 and then a plus 1 over x square minus 7x plus 12 and this is equal to 0. And now we can see we got these three factors equal to 0. So we can split them up and we can write 2x minus 12 equal to 0, the other one 2x minus 7 equal to 0 and this third one I can write this whole thing 1 over x square minus 7x plus 10 and then plus 1 over x square minus 7x plus 12 equal to zero and here this one if we bring this 12 on the other side become 2x equal to 12 so our x value turns out to be positive 6 and this one is going to give us x equal to 7 over 2 value now let's focus on this equation and here I have copied it down. Let's go ahead and simplify. First of all, let's go ahead and move these terms on the right hand side. So we got on the left hand side 1 over x square minus 7x plus 10 equal to when we move this one on the other side become negative 1 over x square minus 7x plus 10. 12 and cross multiply so we are going to get x square minus 7x plus 12 equal to when we cross multiply this way that's going to become negative 1 times x square minus 7x plus 10 so that's going to give us x square minus 7x plus 12 equal to Let's go ahead and distribute this negative one. So this become negative x square plus 7x minus 10. Let's move all these terms on the left hand side. And here I have moved everything on the left hand side. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms. So x square and x square become 2x square minus 14x plus 
22 equal to 0. Therefore, we can see that this equation has been simplified to this one. So I can replace this one by 2x square minus 14x plus 22 equal to 0. And here's our next step. We figured out our x values as x equal to 6 and x equal to 7 over 2. And here we got our quadratic equation. And we can see that this is divisible by 2 across the board. Let's go ahead and divide this one out by 2. So this 2 and 2 is gone. So we got x square minus 7x plus 11 equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. And here's the quadratic formula that we will be using. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula. So x equal to minus and b is negative 7 plus r minus square root of negative 7 square minus 4 times a is 1, c is 11, everything is divided by 2 times 1. Let's simplify this thing, negative and negative become positive, 7 plus r minus, this is going to become 49 minus 44 divided by 2, so this is our x value. And if we split these two positive and negative signs over here, one with a positive sign and negative sign, so we got two values of x. So here are our solutions, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And thus here are our four solutions to this problem. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.